how is everybody doing today? You guys all doing well? I hope so. All right, we are gonna continue on with our fall food fiasco. Fiasco? No, our fall food fun, right? So we've talked about pears and squash. We've talked about apples. We've talked about carrots. And today we are going to talk about one of my favorite fall foods, soup. I love when it gets nice and chilly out and we can eat some delicious soup, stew, chili, all those warm, yummy foods. So I have picked three books today that talk to us about soup. I have a fun craft to show you and a really super delicious recipe to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we start listening to our stories, let's make sure that we have all of our wiggles out, okay? Ready? Arms straight up in the air and wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle this way, wiggle that way. Shake and make a funny sound. <laughs> Ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Good job. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Okay, we're almost ready. Do you guys remember what we need to say? Mm -hmm. I am great. I am smart. I am strong. I am loved. And today is a wonderful day. It is, isn't it? It is a wonderful day to get to spend some time with you, my friends, reading books about one of my favorite fall foods, soup. Now, I know that soup is not always kids' favorite food to eat, at least in my family it's not. But as you get a little older, I think you guys are really gonna appreciate the wondrous joys of soup. There's so many different kinds of soup to choose from. Chicken noodle soup, beef soup, hamburger soup, potato soup, cheese soup, broccoli soup. I don't even know. Miss Megan, can you think of any more soups? You can make a soup out of anything. Yes, you can. You could have chocolate soup. <gasps> chocolate soup, that would be my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first story that we are gonna read comes from this book. It's called Little Bear and it's by Elise Minark. Minark? Minark? I'm not sure how you say her last name. But this book has a lot of different stories in it. Let me show you the chapters here. Oh my goodness, it keeps going and going and going. So it has several different stories here. What Will Little Bear Wear? Birthday Soup, Little Bear Goes to the Moon, and Little Bear's Wish. Which one do you think we're going to read today? are so smart. We are, we're gonna read birthday soup today. So I'm gonna turn to this page, page 22 in our book, and we are gonna go ahead and read just a little bit about birthday soup. See my, I used a little bookmark to keep, a, keep our place so I would know where we were. All right, here's little bear. Mother bear, mother bear, where are you? Calls little bear. Oh dear, Mother Bear is not here, and today is my birthday. I think my friends will come, but I do not see a birthday cake. My goodness, no birthday cake. What can I do? Hmm, the pot is by the fire. The water in the pot is hot. If I put something in the water, I can make a birthday soup. All my friends like soup. Hmm, let me see what we have. We have carrots and potatoes, peas and tomatoes. I can make soup with carrots, potatoes, peas and tomatoes. That sounds delicious. So Little Bear begins to make soup in the big black pot. First, Hen comes in. Happy birthday, Little Bear, she says. Thank you, Hen, says Little Bear. Hen says, my, something smells good here. Is it in that big black pot? Yes, says Little Bear. I'm making birthday soup. Will you stay and have some? 
Oh, yes, thank you, says little hen. And she sits down to wait. She brought him a gift, didn't she? She brought him some honey. Next, Duck comes in. Happy birthday, little bear, says Duck. My, something smells good. Is it in that big black pot? Thank you, Duck, says little bear. Yes, I am making birthday soup. Will you stay and have some with us? Thank you. Yes, thank you, says Duck. And she sits down to wait. She brought little bear a very beautiful little stick with leaves and flowers on it for her birthday. Ooh, next cat comes in. Happy birthday, little bear, he says. Thank you, cat, says little bear. I hope you like birthday soup. I'm making birthday soup. Cat says, can you really cook? If you can really make it, I will eat it. Good, says little bear. The birthday soup is hot, so we must eat it now. We cannot wait for mother bear. I do not know where she is. Cat brought little bear an apple. He's getting lots of good birthday treats. Now, here is some soup for you, hen, and some soup for you, duck, and here is some soup for you, cat, and here is some soup for me. Now, we can all have some birthday soup. Cat sees mother bear at the door and says, wait, little bear, do not eat yet. Shut your eyes and say, one, two, three. Little Bear shuts his eyes and says, right, one, two, three. Mother Bear comes in with a big cake. Now look, says Cat. Oh, Mother Bear, says Little Bear. What a big, beautiful birthday cake. Birthday soup is good to eat, but not as good as birthday cake. I am so happy you did not forget. Yes, happy birthday, little bear, says mother. This birthday cake is a surprise for you. I never did forget your birthday, and I never will. <laughs> oh, I think little bear is right. Birthday soup would be delicious, but birthday cake is even better, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so let's stand up and do a little stretching before we read our next book. All right, we're going to stretch all the way to the sky. You guys reach way up on your tiptoes. See how high you can get. Oh, you guys are so good. All right, ready? We're going to stretch to the side. Oh, really stretch. All the way to the other side. Good job. Now, arms straight out, palms up. Turn your head this way and that way. Good job. Pull your arms in. Give yourself a big squeeze. You guys are doing so great. All right. Now we are going to pretend to be soup. Are you guys ready? Do you feel wiggly and jiggly like soup? <laughs> All right. I need you to crouch down because we're going to be in our pot, okay? So you are soup in a pot. Are you ready? We're going to say, the soup is boiling up. The soup is boiling up. Stir, stir, around we go. The soup is boiling up. Can you stand up like you're boiling up out of your pot? Ready? Let's try it again. Crouch down, little soups. Down into your pot. Ready? The soup is boiling up. The soup is boiling up. Stir, stir, around we go. The soup is boiling up. Good job, guys. I think that you made wonderful soup. All right, our next book is a very silly book. It is called Duck Soup. And if you guys remember from way long ago, we read a book called Duck at the Door. And Max the Duck, he does not fly south with his friends and he ends up getting very cold and he goes to a house and ends up living with this family of all different animals. And if you remember from that book, Max really does like to cook, okay? 
So this is a story about one of the meals that Max makes while he is staying with all of his friends. He looks kind of silly, doesn't he? He's in the pot. Oh dear. All right. Here we go. There's Duck getting all his ingredients together and getting his soup going on the stove. All right. This was it. A little pepper, some salt, a little parsley and potato, <gasps> soup. This would be Max's masterpiece. Ooh la la, this was going to be grand. He is very excited about this soup. Max had made lots of soups before. Fish soup with curry and pickled lemon, red hot chili soup, squash gumbo, Cracker Barrel cheese and marshmallow soup, and way, way too many beans soup. He had cooked them all, but every recipe had been created by another chef, not Max. Now he was making his own soup. The soup that he, Maxwell Duck, would be remembered for inventing. Slurp, slurp, sip. It smells perfect, but the taste is not quite right. He has made quite a mess, hasn't he? Dear. Max thought it over. A pinch of this, a pinch of that. Broccoli? Zucchini? Chives? <gasps> That's it! It needs an herb from the garden. Just wait, my delicate broth. Max will be back to make you perfecto in uno momento. Smack! The front door slammed shut as Brody, Dakota, and Bibi walked in. Sniff, sniff. Ooh, what smells so good, said Brody. Max must be cooking again. I hope it's better than last time, said Dakota. Hey, Max, Maxie, where are you? Called Brody. We're about to eat your soup, added Dakota. So what's wrong? Asked Brody. Taste it already, Dakota. <gasps> Dakota gasped. I think I know where Max went. Oh dear. I told him he should never cook alone. Do you think he fell in? I'm sure he did. Oh dear, I think he's in the soup. Call for help, cried Bibi. Help! There's no time, said Dakota. Max! Grab the spoon, yelled Dakota. That won't work, said Bibi. He can't hear you. <laughs> oh my. I know, the strainer. Strainer? The big bowl with the little holes, grab it. Brody hoped that the soup would go down the drain and Max would stay behind. Oh dear. said Bibi. Silly, that's only a potato, Brody replied. Eyeballs, his eyeballs, said Bibi. Guys, that's only tiny onions, said Brody. Ah, his feet, yelled Dakota. Calm down, you two, it's only carrot slices. Smack, they all looked up as the back door slammed shut. Who could that be? My soup! Max! <laughs> They're all so excited to see him. But I think he's gonna be a little upset, don't you? Oh, that night Max was very quiet over dinner. Cheer up, Max. You're still a great chef, said Eileen. 
and you'll cook your perfect soup someday soon, she added. And it will be great, said Brody. Really great, said Bebe. We know you're disappointed, said Irene, but at least you're not duck soup. And they all agreed, even Max. <laughs> oh, that book was very silly, wasn't it? They thought that Max had fallen into the soup. And he had just gone outside to get some more ingredients from his garden to make his soup perfect. Oh, poor guy. Do you think he'll try again? I bet he will. All right. Our song today is kind of a silly song. It is by Mr. Jack Hartman, and he is going to make us a special soup. And we are going to practice some of our letter sounds. So let's see, we're going to practice an M sound, an S sound, a C sound, some different sounds. So we are going to stir our soup, and then we're also going to mix our soup. Can you guys mix? Yeah? Okay. You guys can stand up if you want to and dance around because this is a very silly song. Okay, here we go. Happy here we go. Let's turn it up a little bit. started out sounding okay. Oh, and then they just got icky, didn't they? <laughs> I don't think I would recommend any of those soups for dinner tonight. Ooh. Catfish and cantaloupe. Ooh, gross, gross, gross. All right. <laughs> Our last book is a very sweet little book called Blue Corn Soup. It is a very nice little book about sharing by Caroline Stetson and illustrated by Terry 
Widener. I think the illustrations in this book are so, so pretty. Okay, there's a few Spanish words in here. So Miss Kinsey's gonna do her best to make sure she says them correctly, okay? Here we go. Whiskers wiggle, eyes grow bright, mouse peeks out, the canyon's white. Snow, she blinks. She'll grind dried corn. Blue corn soup will keep her warm. Aboleta fills her pot. She'll make sopa, not a lot. Just enough for one small mouse, cozy in her sagebrush house. Smoke drifts through the wood. Someone's cooking something good. Chipmunk chatters, sniffs about. Is it sopa? He'll find out. I like his hat. Abuleta stirs her pot. The sopa bubbles thick and hot. She will taste a tiny bit. Something's missing. What is it? Mouse adds pepper, chop, 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 into the sopa with a plop. Just enough for one small mouse staying warm inside her house. Smoke drifts through the wood. Someone's cooking something good. Rabbit bounces, sniffs about. Is it Sopa? He'll find out. He looks very fancy too in his vest. Aboleta stirs her pot. The Sopa bubbles thick and hot. She will taste a tiny bit. Something's missing. What is it? Mouse adds pine nuts, chop, 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 into the Sopa with a plop. Just enough for one small mouse making soup inside her house. That's the fun thing about soup because you get to add so many ingredients to it and it tastes delicious. Smoke drifts through the wood. Someone's cooking something good. Old Bear grumbles, sniffs about. Is it Sopa? He'll find out. Aboleta stirs her pot. The Sopa bubbles thick and hot. She will taste a tiny bit. Something's missing. What is it? Mouse adds onions, chop, 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 into the sopa with a plop. Just enough for one small mouse all alone inside her house. The onions are making her cry. Sometimes they do that, don't they? Very strong smell. Smoke drifts through the wood. Someone's cooking something good. Is it Sopa? Neighbors stare. Three move closer. Sniff the air. What is this? Mouse peeks outside. Whiskers wiggle. Eyes grow wide. Chipmunk, rabbit, and old bear smell her Sopa. Want to share. Aboleta lifts her pot. Three can tell there's not a lot. Hungry neighbors turn away. No blue sopa, not today. Wait, Mouse follows. We can share. Bring some food to old bear's lair. When Mouse tips her little pot mixed together, there's a lot. Everybody brings some ingredients to share. Blue corn sopa? More like stew. Four must name it something new. Yes, mouse dances. Friendship stew. Do they like it? Yes, they do. Neighbors gather on the floor, sip their stew, and ask for more. Nothing's missing. All can see. Food tastes best with company. The end. They pulled all their ingredients together and they made a delicious stew, didn't they? Well, for our craft time today, I found something pretty easy and fun for you guys to do. Let me find it here. So you're gonna look for the week four envelope and right behind it, 
there is a picture of a soup pot, just like the one that we saw in the last book, right? And then in there, I have some different vegetables that you guys can color and cut out and add in. I have some little stickers that you can use to decorate your pot or your spoon. Or if you don't want to use these, you guys can just draw your own ingredients in your soup pot and make your favorite kind of soup. You guys could even make a silly soup like in our song. You could add all kinds of crazy things into your soup. So if you have a chance to make it, you can send me a picture. I would love to see the soup that you guys come up with. Also in your bag, you've got your recipes. And for this week, our recipe is chicken tortilla soup. So this would be a wonderful, easy meal for you guys to help mommy and daddy with because there's a lot of things that you could add to the pot before it gets turned on and before it's hot and kind of dangerous. You guys could help add all of the ingredients in once everything is in there, you just stir it up and you let it cook on your stove for a while and then it is delicious. And you guys can use regular tortilla chips or you can use blue corn tortilla chips, just like in our last book. They're both very, very delicious. So that is what I have for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for joining me and I hope to see you next time. Bye.